Hi everybody. Hey, this is part two of hiking, fall hiking, and how to prepare and what to expect. So I'm just going to run through some things I've already got um, on my blog post on my website. Uh, you can see a list of things, but, and I've already done this other part one, so take a look at that. But first of all, bring water. This is one liter. The rule of thumb is one liter of water per hour of hiking. I know nobody does that, but it's a good idea to drink plenty of water. When it starts to get a lot colder, then this is a great thing to do. Get a hydro flask and fill this for, full of warm water and drink this. It'll keep you really nice and warm on those colder days. I also carry some, um, just this is some uh, gauze and uh, if you needed it for an emergency and some band-aids I carry. This is a little emergency poncho. So if it did start to rain, it would definitely keep you warm. These are my really nice gloves, they're toasters. And I love these uh, because it, when my hands are really cold first thing in the morning, I use these skiing also. But um, you know, it has a mitten inside for gloves. Um, and then it's the mitten, but these are my really nice warm gloves. And generally I only need these for about the first 15 minutes and, or less and then my gloves come off. So this is one of the hats. This is for a really nice, if it's a super cold day and I need something really warm on my head, I have that. I also, uh, this is such a great hat. I love both of these hats. A good friend of mine, Kathy, made this one for me. I really like this one. Again, this is kind of a merino wool. This will definitely keep my head nice and warm. And uh, with that, you need to wear um, sunglasses. So make sure you have a good pair of sunglasses to wear when you're hiking because uh, it gets really bright in the, especially in the winter. So just get in the habit of bringing these. If it wasn't really hot and I just needed some sun protection, that's the hat I would wear. So on a day where I didn't need a lot of socks, I would just wear anklets, but these are my favorite kinds of socks, a smart wool, okay? Um, but in the winter, I wear these, these are knee highs, and they're a thin sock, but they're super, super nice. Really love those. This is something that's gonna be required that you need to have our micro spikes. This is the front of them, and you slip them onto your hiking shoe, and, um, anyway. Slip these onto your hiking shoe and they have these spikes. So yeah, you can see these spikes. Anyway, that keeps you really safe on ice and snow. And they come in this little bag, so you would always carry these um, with you. And then when we hit a trail where there's a lot of ice and everything, um, or snowpack, you need to stop and put those on. Hey, this is something I really like. This is a little travel size. It's made from Norwex and it's called an Enviro cloth. And just for cleaning your windows or anything that gets dirty, you just need to clean really fast. It's so great because you never you have to use soap. If you just had some water and you could just use some of your water and get this wet, you could clean your windshield or if you need to clean anything, if anything spills or whatever, this is a great cloth. If you need any of these, um, let me know. I can get these for you uh, from Norwex. And it's made with silver and it cleans really, really well. Also, I make these, <laughs> now this looks like something, who knows what it looks like, but this is actually Epsom salt. Um, so this is what I do to treat myself after a hike. This is one cup of Epsom salt. Um, I sell it for a dollar. If you ever wanna buy these, just text me and I'll bring you some ahead of time. You can Venmo me or whatever. But just after the hike, go home and um, put it in the bathtub. And you can just soak your body, especially your feet, and you'll feel amazing afterwards. So if your backpack, if it, if it starts to rain, you wanna keep your backpack dry. <clears throat> this actually fits inside this, it's a little stuff sack. But it's like, it reminds me of a giant shower cap for your backpack, but everything in your backpack will stay dry if you have this and it just slips on there's a um a cord um you know pull cord that you can keep it nice and tight 
Okay, so as it starts to get cold, um, this is a base layer. This is one of my base layers. It's very thin. This is what I wear, and then depending on how hot it is or cold it is, it will depend on what coat I wear on top of that. Another base layer that I really love are icebreakers. This is the brand, icebreaker.com. It's a super great base layer. Uh, it has the merino wool. And then as an uh, outer layer, this is made by Marmot, but um, this is just a waterproof pant, super lightweight, and it's also really good for windbreaker. So this is very, very lightweight. I will keep this in my backpack, so if my legs start to get cold partway on a hike, and the wind starts to kick in or the weather starts to change, then I'll just stop and put these on over the top of my other pants. What you do not want to wear are these, Levi's. Leave these home. Uh, very, very bad. And fall is trying to, we're, in the fall, we're trying to get you ready for winter. And you would definitely not be wearing these in the winter. Very, very bad idea. I could tell you a story about that on another day. We call her Frozen Jenny because her pants froze. It took, her a while, it took us a while to thaw her out. <laughs> anyway, so I have a couple of different coats. This is my warmest coat. This is one of my warmest coats, so it's a nice down coat. I would just wear this with a base layer. Works out really well. But if it's not that cold, then I will wear this coat. And these are some of the coats that I got over at the gear room. If you're in the Salt Lake area, uh, you should definitely go over and check out the gear room. It's just down from the mouth of Cottonwood Canyon. This is a nice lightweight coat, uh, perfect for fall weather, for a lot of fall weather, unless you, unless it was a super cold day. Um, this is just another one that is also waterproof, and it's a lightweight coat. Um, anyway, good windbreaker also. Um, but if it were raining really, really hard, then I would definitely take this. If I really needed to stay dry, um, this is like Gore-Tex. And uh, anyway, I would uh, do that. So the brand on this is called Dry Duck. Anyway, <laughs> that's definitely a really nice one. So my favorite shoes are, I'm sorry, are the Keens. I love my hiking shoes, the Keen brand. These have really, really good traction. And I've gone through several of these in the last 17 years. But um, I love my Keen hiking shoes. And this is the type of shoe. I mean, look at that. That's the type of shoe that I would wear year round, right through deep powder snow. And uh, with a pair of smart wool socks. That is sufficient for me. And it uh, keeps me nice and dry. Which is really amazing when you're hiking in three or four feet of snow. And then this is kind of a big duffel bag. but this is about two feet long, and um, I just collect um, some of my winter clothes, the clothes that I would really possibly need to wear. This does not come on the hike with me, so you don't have to worry about that, but any gloves or hats and a, a few assortment of coats and hats and gloves and, and base layers and everything, keep those all together. It serves as a really good, um, serves as a really good emergency preparedness thing too. If you had to run out of your house and you had to have some good warm clothes and you couldn't return to your home, want to make sure you're nice and dry, that's what you would use also along with hiking. But we take that to the trailhead and then you can really see the temperatures that you're dealing with and you can layer up, layer down, whatever. So this is a good way to keep your shoes waterproof. There's this brand here. It's really good. And then there's also this. It's a super protector and you can um, spray this on shoes. Keep the, the dirt from getting really deep in it and also keep some waterproof. And also your jackets and things like that. So that serves a really good purpose. Anyway, oh, don't forget Kleenex, uh, tissues, and your phone. Um, that's a very helpful thing. But read my blog. I listed a whole bunch of really good information on that. I hope this helps you a little bit. We want you to be prepared and not stay home on inclement days, on inclement weather days. Just come out and play with this. It will do wonders for your, for your, um, uh, to keep depression and keep your uh, body feeling happy. So just get out and play with this even for a little while. Thanks for watching this. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.